is Yana's coloring creation. So today I'm going to start my coloring supplies collection videos. Um, I'm going to try and group it into um, sort of pencils and then pens and then anything else I've got. So it should only be, I mean the pencils are probably going to be about two videos because I've got all my sort of smaller sets and then I've got the bigger sets. Um, pens should only be one I should think and then maybe another one for the other stuff. So. Hopefully this won't be too long a series, definitely won't be as long as my books, so uh, I'll start with the little like pencil cases I've got, um, just move those out the way, so in this one I've got, uh, we've got different ones in here, yeah so I've got some Stadler pencils in here, I think they were like I think it was like a cheap little kind of pastel set, I think. Yeah. So there's those. There's probably a 12 set. Um, and then these are... Um, I don't know if you can see that. It says Marco Colour. I think it's from the same kind of company as uh, Marco Ruffines, possibly. There's a 12 metallic set that I've had for quite some time. At least I think it was a 12 set. Yeah. And then I also have a um, like personalised pencil set, it's just cheapy pencils um, that my mum got me for Christmas once with some colour and stuff, so I don't really use those very much, but I'm definitely going to try and use my various sets more if I can. So that is that one. Uh, then in this Winnie the Pooh one, I've got, uh, let's see, I'll just take one of each pencil out, so I think there's two, maybe I need two different sets in here. Yeah, so there's the 24 Crayola set, and then I've also got uh, Crayola metallic pencils. They're, I think they're supposed to be a 12 set, but I've only got about seven of them. But they're quite old, these ones, so I've had them forever. I just found them when I was tidying up some stuff. So I don't have the whole set. I mean, I probably do somewhere, but I don't know where the other pencils are. So yeah, so that's the Crayola pencils in there. And uh, then, uh, then I've got this sort of like wrap pencil case with the polar bear on it and in here uh, these are the Statler Norris Aquarel pencils I think it's a 24 set um, for some like cheap watercolour pencils they're quite nice I've only used them briefly so far um, <coughs> I've not had a chance to use them properly yet but they do, for like more budget pencils, they're definitely quite good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then this little pencil case on the end. Um, I think this is another pastel set actually by Statler. Yeah, I'm not sure if, I think it's a 12 set again. So, I mean, I think the other one might have not been a 12 set, but they're just, yeah, just little... I think this is a 12 set and then the other one may have been the smaller set, I'm not sure that came with a book or something. So that is those. Just pop that over there. And then I'll do this one first. And then in here I've got kind of all sorts as well. So in here I've got... Uh, I think it's a 24 set of the Scribblicious pencils which are from a stationery shop here in the UK called The Works. They're just cheapy pencils but they are still quite good. Um, then I've also got a 12 set of the Statler Norris colour. I got given those as a present from my auntie for Christmas, I believe. And then I've also got a 12 set of the Stabilo coloured pencils as well. Again, just cheapy pencils but they're quite good if you just want to, you know, not use your sort of more expensive pencils. Um, 
that's that and then in here I kind of got a bit of all sorts as well it's mostly my open stock stuff so I've got sort of open stock Derwent pastels pencils uh, Derwent Colorsoft open stock pencils uh, I think I've got Derwent artists in here as well yeah. no that's an ink tent it's open stock ink tents uh, then Derwent artists and I've also got two open stock Caran Dash Neo Colour 2s. I've only got two colours though. I kind of wish I'd bought more in the little shop that I went to. And I've also got a four set of um, cheapy pencils. Um, this is when I ordered the Throne of Glass colouring book that's based off Sarah J Mass series. Uh, the Sarah, the like Throne of Glass Facebook page, they do sort of pre order gift things so if you send proof of your pre-order for it in, um, before a certain time you get a sort of like pre-order gift and um, one of them with the the colour pen you could get coloured pencils if you'd pre-ordered the colouring book so that's those and I think I've just got a, some like pastel kind of coloured pencils um, that came with a colouring set so that's that one um, then now I'm moving to tins, so I'll do these first. Uh, so this is the Statler 36 set, and this is just sort of the standard ones, uh, sort of cheapy pencils. I've not had a chance to use them though, but I just like I think I went through a phase of just buying random sets of pencils to try out. So I think you can get a 72 set now of these, but I'll just stick with the 36 set. So that's those, and then um, this is uh, four tins, but they're of the same set of pencils. Uh, they're by Deco Time, and you get 18 uh, in each set. They're sort of grouped into colours, so this is sort of purpley blues, uh, this is sort of yellowy reds into the sort of browns, and this is the sort of pinky peach one, and this is sort of bluey greens. So, yeah. Um, they are cheaper pencils. I got these from the range where I work. They're sort of, they're triangular shaped, so they don't roll off the um, the table. Uh, they do have names, but the pencils only have the numbers. But it's quite easy to sort of see which one which pencil is. The the numbers are quite small. Sorry, so if you can see that. Um, I have tried them out a little bit. They're not the best pencils, but they're definitely alright for cheapy pencils. The only issue I have is the tins keep opening by themselves. I did have an elastic band around them, but for some reason it's now broke, so I have to find another one. Um, so I will just put those there for the moment. Um, we'll find somewhere else to put them. So that is those. And then I've got these three. Uh, so this is the Faber-Castell Color Grip Pencils. It's a 12 set. I think you can get up to about 48 now of these. I think they're more aimed at kids, but this is sort of the first kind of Faber Castell pencils I got. Um, they've got this sort of like grip thing there. And um, they're actually water soluble, which is quite nice. Um, as you can see, I've used them a little bit. This is, I, these were the only sort of watercolor pencils I had for a while. Um, but you can use them both dry and with water, which is quite nice. And they're nice colours. I only had a few issues with the red one kept breaking when I sharpened it, but I think that was just me not sharpening it correctly. So that's in the more kind of student grade side of Faber Castell. But they're still very good quality. Like, uh, I mean, yes, they're not as high quality as, say, these. They're Albrecht Dora watercolour pencils, but they're pretty good and they're still vibrant when you lay them down so this is the 12 set of the Elbrick Dora pencils um, I've also used these quite a bit um, I used these before I got, I had these before I got the 120 set which you'll see probably in the next video when I do my big pencil cases um, and I did do it, I sort of challenged myself to use just these 12 pencils in a few colourings, which was quite fun. So yeah, I mean these are just my favourite watercolour pencils. 
They're uh, just as high quality as the polychromos, which I use with them quite a bit. I use them sort of together in a lot of pages. So that is those. And then I also have the 12 set of the Derwent Ink Tents. Um, and I've not used them too much as I'm still trying to get used to them because they're a bit different to watercolour pencils as I'm sure everyone knows is they're like permanent once they're down and you've like put water on them so yeah so I think I just stick to this and the like three open stock ones I've got but I would like to get a bigger set one day maybe when I'm more used to them so yeah that's those uh, if you want to bear with me two seconds I will just move these out of the way Okay, so now on to the slightly bigger sets. So next I've got the 24 Super Soft Pencils by Satburn. This is from their Design Journey series. And if I can open the tin. I got these from Bobby Hay Smith. I just thought I'd try them out. Um, let me just have a sip of drink a minute. Um, so... They're kind of, these are more expensive than the standard Sattler ones, um, because they're quite soft to use. Um, and they blend really nicely. Um, I've only used them a few times so far, but to use they're quite nice. Um, and they I guess they're sort of in the sort of mid range in terms of price. Uh, they're definitely not as cheap as the like standard Sattler pencils, but then I know there's ones that are a bit like I think it's the Sattler Carrot, I think they're called. They're like Acroel ones, they're quite expensive. But these are sort of in the middle, I guess. I can't remember how much I paid for them. It must have been about 20 quid at most, but they're nice to use. Um, I need to sort of use them more so. That is those. I don't know where to put these. Not there for now. Um, then I have the 48 set of the W. Hitchworth pencils. Um, I also, the first, first of all, I had the 36 set. And then shortly after, they released the 48 set. So I got, so in here, I've got both um, my original 36 set and the um, 48 set. So the smaller pencils are the um, 36 set, but I mean these, they're very budget friendly pencils um, and they are, they're just, they're really nice pencils to use, especially if you, you know, you're just starting out. I mean obviously you can only get these in the UK unfortunately because it's from WH Smith which is the stationery shop here in the UK, but, um, sorry I was just checking the time. and. But they are really nice pencils to use, and I used them a lot when I first started. And I do try to go back to these every now and again because I'm interested to see like how my skills have changed. And I did the last time I did that, my I had did there. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> my skills had sort of improved, and I used them a bit differently to how I normally do. So how I normally did. So yeah, so they're nice pencils to get if you're in the UK and you're just starting out. Um, or you want a bigger set. Um, so yeah, so that's those. Uh, then I've got the Faber-Castell Classic 24 pencils. Again, these are at the sort of student grade level. Um, but just as high quality. I mean, okay, not as high quality as the Polychromos, but they are still very good quality pencils. Um, very pigmented. I'm sure lots of people have seen these. Um, and like the W. H. Smith pencils, they're a very good budget pencil to start out with. And the biggest set is a 60, which you'll see a bit later on because I've got some, I've got this as a 60 set as well. Um, but yeah, I really like these pencils as well. Um, so yeah, if anywhere in the UK, you, not just the UK, you should be able to get these because they're available on Amazon and things, so yeah. So that is the Faber-Castell 24 Classic Colours. Uh, then I have the Lyra Rembrandt Aperwell 
um, sorry about the glare, 24 set. These are watercolour pencils. Um, I bought these on a like swap and sell covering group on Facebook. I wasn't too sure about them because I'd never really used any of the Lyra pencils before. And they are nice pencils. I did have a few issues with, oops, sorry. I have a few issues with this brown though that it kept breaking when I sharpened it. But I mean, I don't know if that was just the pencil or whether it was me sharpening it, so I'm not sure. But they're all right, they're not my favourite watercolour pencils, but it's nice to get. I just like to get slightly smaller sets of things to sort of try out and see. Um, but I'll definitely just stick to this small set of these. These aren't my favourite, but I mean, I haven't really found paper they work on nicely yet, so. I guess I just need to play around with them a little bit more. So that is those. And then like the Lyra Aquarels, I've got the 24 Gold Faber pencils from Faber Castell. And um, again, I bought these in a, a swap and sell Facebook group. And I just bought these to try them out. Um, they were basically they were brand new. Um, the sharpened ones are just where I've used them. I'm not sure about these at the moment. I've only used them once so far, and I don't know. I think it might have just been because I was using it on a like Amazon book, so the paper wasn't the best. But I might try them out on a different um, pa like paper, like maybe in the Joanna Basford book or something. They are nice colours though, and I do I would like to try the like the watercolour versions. So I might try and see if I can get a small set of those. I think at the range, I think, um, where I work, we sell the 12 set, uh, so I might grab those at some point to try. So that is the Faber-Castell Gold Faber, and I think these are still student grade, but the sort of like higher end of student grade, so yeah, that's those. Uh, then I've got the, a 24 set of the Colour Blend pencils by Spectrum Noir and this is the floral set and this is the only set I've got of Spectrum Noir um, they are nice, I like the colours because it's very nice sort of, I know they're sort of colour grouped um, but I found these like brand new at a car boot sale and I think they were only, I want to say like £5 which is amazing considering these are like £20 brand new um, but they were very cheap and because of the price and the fact that it was brand new condition I just like why not um, but yeah I need to play around with these more that's the main issue I've got with pencils I think I just forget what I've got and neglect quite a few sets so I just need a drink again So, yeah, but I definitely need to maybe challenge myself to use some smaller sets on pages and things with like limited colour palette and stuff. So yeah, so that's those. And then I've got these, which are from The Works here in the UK. There's a brand called Bold Mirror, I think it's The Works like own sort of brand. And these are quite cheap. Um, so again, UK colourists, if you've got a works near you and you see these, definitely try them out because they are really nice pencils for the price. Uh, they're very like pigmented um, and they're very high quality as well. They've got really like sealed ends and things. So yeah, they're really nice. Unfortunately, they don't have numbers or anything, but I'm sure you can make your own colour chart. Um, so yeah. But they're just very nice. I just like the way they look. The sort of blue and then the coloured ends. But yeah, so that's those. So the, and that's the 30 set. And uh, then that's just my backup set of the 36 WH Smith pencils. Completely untouched, although I may have to order it into like rainbow colours because I like having it in sort of light to dark kind of thing. But yeah, so that's my backup set. And uh, then I've got these, which is the Caran Dash Swiss Colour 30 set. I think this is like old tin. 
um, as I assume this is uh, different now. Um, but this, um, these are definitely more the cheaper side of Caran d'Ache. Um, I've not used any of their pencils apart from the white luminance pencil, um, which I've got here as an open stock. Um, so I can't really comment on that. I know that lots of people really like their pencils. These are alright. I mean, they are more cheaper pencils, but they're nice. And we found these by accident because my brother was clearing out some stuff and he had a like bag of like art things that had come from somewhere and these were in it and they were pretty much unused. So naturally I went, ooh, pencils and grabbed them. Um, so otherwise they were just going to go to a charity shop and yeah. But I have used them once and they were right, but again it was on Amazon paper so I guess they didn't really perform as well as they could have done so I would definitely try these out on some better paper to see what they can do and the, the colour is really nice as well so I'll definitely give them another go at some point so that is those and then I have the 36 set let's take this off of the, is the Mitsubishi, bleh, I can't say it, Mitsubishi by Uni number 888 colour pencils and I saw these on Colour with Claire's channel um, and I thought they were really pretty. They're only short because I was sharpening them and some of them sharpened lower than I would have liked for some reason but hey ho. But I've not actually properly like used them to colour yet so they need to be tested, but I do really like them. They're really nice pencils, and I just I like all these sort of like pastel kind of tones and things. So I'm excited to try those, and they're in a really nice tin as well. I love the like butterflies. So yeah, I'm excited to give them a go at some point when I get around to it. So that is those. Just sit that back. Uh, then I have the 36 Sadler Ergosoft pencils and I'm sure like everyone I was influenced by Joanna Bassford herself for these um, they are really nice pencils and for like budget side of pencils as well and the colours are nice I need to definitely use these more as well um, as I've only used them a couple of times um, so yeah and they're, they're triangular so they don't roll off the desk and they're easy to grip so yeah so that's stab that ergo soft pencils uh, then i have the 36 wh smith watercolor pencils and i got these around the same time maybe a little bit after i got the normal ones as you can see i've used quite a few of these i've used them a lot um, they're still some of my favourite watercolour pencils to use, they're really nice, um, and yeah, the only disappointment I've got with these is the fact that they kind of upgraded their normal pencils to a bigger set, but they haven't done anything with these, it would have been nice to have a bigger set, but you can still only get the 36 set, there's no 48 to match the pencils, but maybe one day, I don't know. I really like the sort of like wooden pencils then with the coloured ends, it's quite nice. They don't have numbers though, but I've put numbers on them. Um, so yeah, so that's those. And again, like their normal pencils, these are very inexpensive. So UK colourists, if you want to try some watercolour pencils, I definitely recommend those. Uh, so I decided I wanted a bigger set of some watercolour pencils. But I couldn't afford the um, the ones I wanted, the Albrecht Dora ones. So I went with these. It's the Faber Castell Art Grip Actual Pencils. These are the like student grade ones. Um, this is a 60 set. So there's two pairs of pencils. Um, and like the sort of 
colour grip ones I showed earlier that look the like red ones. They've got the sort of dots and the sort of triangular and yeah. So they're quite nice to use. Um very vibrant and things. They do have numbers these ones though and they actually match up to the um colours of the polychromos which is quite cool. Um so you, I can use I've used them like together quite a bit. Um and I think there was some pen there was a couple of colours uh in the polychromos that were discontinued. Uh I think there was a light violet and a light blue and those colours are actually here in this set. Oops, sorry. Which is quite cool. Um you can try and get the discontinued ones, but you've got to spend a ridiculous amount of money. I think Colour with Claire got the violet one. Um but yeah, no, if you want to try those colours, they're in here, which is quite cool. It's really nice violet colour and light blue. Um, so yeah, they're quite nice colours. Um, so yeah, this is definitely, if you want a bigger set of watercolour pencils to try, which are, I can't remember how much I paid for them. I can't remember. It definitely wasn't as much as the Albert Dura ones. Um, yeah, I mean I think they're sort of the higher end of student quality ones, but they're still very high quality as I found with everything I've got from Fabric Castell. And then I have, uh, this is another set of the Boldmere pencils from the works, but this is a um, 72 set and this one, these are also water soluble. Um, so it's just the only downside with this is the trays are quite hard to get out. Uh, so yeah, so there's two sets there, two trays even. Sorry. Um, and this set was only about fifteen pounds, and it came with a little paintbrush as well. So yeah, these are water soluble. I think this is a swatch chart. I've, I've since done a different one, but. So this side is the sort of it dry and then this is it with water. So there's a nice range of colours. Um, yeah, I've used them both dry and activated and they work really nice both ways. So um, they don't always stock these I found, or at least my works don't. They quite often have the smaller set but not this one. So if you wanted to try this set. Um, so you get coloured pencils and watercolour pencils at the same time. Um, definitely try and grab this set if you see it because it's very good value for money and they're very good quality pencils. So yeah, at least that in the UK you can get them. I don't think the works like um, send overseas unfortunately. So unless you had a friend in the UK that could send them to you. Um, but yeah. That's those. And I've got two more sets to show you. I've got uh, Windsor and Newton uh, Studio Collection 48 set. I saw Colour with Claire's review. I can't. I think she did the t uh, reviewed the 24 set. I think. And me being me, who needs a whole set of something, uh, decided to try and find the bigger set. So I think 48 set is the biggest you can get. So that's the other there. Um, and they're really nice pencils. Um, they've got really nice names as well. They're quite sturdy. Um, I haven't used them too much. Um, but yeah. I've used them a little bit more than some pencils. I really love this colour. The Dusky Rose. It's a really nice sort of purpley kind of like muted purple. And with this scrap piece of paper, shoot. That's a bit dirty. It's like that. It's sort of, I've used it for um, like shadows in the skin. I think. Yeah, it's a really nice pencil color. Anyway, so yeah, these are obviously being Windsor and Newton, they are expensive. I feel like 
How much did I pay? I think I must have run around £30. Um, but it definitely requires a bit of saving up for these. But they are nice pencils. Sorry, I had to re-record re the end because my phone cut out and I didn't realise so I was talking to myself for about a minute. Um, <laughs> so the final bit, the set of pencils I've got are the Derwent Italic pencils. Uh, Colour with Claire is very much to blame for this as well. Um, as I saw her review and thought they were really nice. So this is a 20 set and it's just all these really nice metallic pencils and I really like this purple colour. Um, so yeah, you can get these on cult pens. I'm not sure if they were a limited edition. Um, so whether they're still available or not, I'm not sure. Uh, but if I can find the link, I'll put it in the description below. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for them, but they weren't cheap. Um, but they are very high quality metallic pencils and they've got a really nice range of colours. So and yeah, a nice little ma magnetic case and the final set of pencils again <laughs> because the video cut out um, I, got this. I got this set of graphite pencils from Faber Castell but they're actually water soluble so I don't know if they're like genuine graphite or whatever but you can create like drawings with them and like put like watercolor effects on it which is quite cool uh, so I bought these sort of for two reasons. Um, I'm trying to get back into, well, trying to learn how to draw a bit better. Um, so I thought I could use these uh, to play around with watercolour and things like that. And also just to try out in colouring books. Because I might get some interesting effects with these. And you've got like all the different sort of uh, grades. Like, so, like... You go, it goes up to 8B, and you've got 2B, HB, and all of that. So, yeah. So that'll be fun to try out. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video, which will be the bigger sets and, like, other pencil cases. And then I'll move on to markers and pens. And then after that, I'll just be, like, other things, like paints and stuff. So... Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video, bye bye.